Now to an ABC News exclusive. The sole survivor of that lethal wildfire that killed 19 firefighters in Arizona back in June is speaking out for the first time. 21-year-old Brendan McDonough was serving as a lookout for his hotshot team that day. ABC's Brian Ross has his incredible story. Air Force, you see, for how copy. The first report of what happened on that fateful day in Yarnell, Arizona, came in this terse radio call from a paramedic lowered down to the charred scene. Nineteen confirmed fatalities, nineteen out of the twenty members of a firefighting team called the Granite Mountain Hotshots from nearby Prescott, Arizona, leaving the lone survivor, Brendan McDonough, to wonder why he was spared. Passed a million times. Why am I sitting here? And why isn't someone else? Why aren't they sitting here with me? Do you think of yourself as, as a hero? I, I look at a hero as someone who's, who laid their life down. We met the 21-year-old McDonough at the Granite Mountain Hotshots headquarters. It's tough. This was my home for a few years. This is where, you know, the best memories of my life have been. And the worst memories. At first, McDonough says the fire in Yarnell seemed nothing out of the ordinary to the Hotshot team as they prepared to move in. We were able to see the fire and what it was doing, and that's when the superintendent and our captain asked me to be the lookout. That would be the assignment that would separate McDonough from the others and save his life. McDonough was stationed here, able to see the fire and the other hotshots around a ridgeline. Around 3.45 in the afternoon, the winds that had been driving the fire away from the hotshots shifted dramatically and began to drive the fire towards the hotshots at a quarter of a mile a minute with flames 50 feet high. The team told McDonough to get out. My captain said, all right, I'll see you soon. I said, okay. That was the last time McDonough talked to them. A short time later, the bodies of his 19 brothers were discovered. I sunk. I mean, I was still with our vehicles in one of the buggies. And I could hear whoever didn't bring their phone, I could hear phones ringing knowing that it was their wives, their family. I sunk, sunk into my seat, I sunk into myself, I couldn't think. Lord bless my hotshot crew, my family, one and all. McDonough has now been to 19 Thank funerals, and, uh, trying to put on a brave family. public face as one the lone survivor. Thank you, and uh, I miss my brothers. Brian Ross, ABC News. Oh, and Brendan McDonough is here with us this morning, here in the studio with us. And Brendan, we just wanted to say that we have been thinking of you and the other families, and just we want to thank you. Thank you so much for your service. Thank you. We'll be in our thoughts and prayers for mm -hmm. some time.